Some of the most popular campgrounds around are government-operated campgrounds. In national parks, state parks, national forests, BLM, the Bureau of Reclamation, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, and more. Available on Recreation.gov and Reserve America. Their popularity, however, means that they're often booked six months in advance. So how does an RV traveler score a last-minute spot in one of these beautiful locations? Stay tuned, for we'll explain how in this episode of Grand Adventure. Hey friends, welcome back to Grand Adventure. I'm your host, Mark Guida. CamNav is a web software company based in British Columbia, Canada, founded by two friends who coincidentally are both named Eric. This company is designed to help you find a campsite in some of the most beautiful campgrounds in North America. Now, if you have a sold out campground, you can keep hitting refresh, hoping that somebody cancels their reservation so that you're able to pounce on it. CampNav automates that process and searches constantly for a campsite that meets your criteria and the moment it opens, it alerts you so you can go in and reserve that newly opened up campsite for yourself. Last spring, one of the Eric's got a hold of Grand Adventure and wanted to offer us the chance to try their product in hopes that we would share our experiences with CampNav with you. Good or bad, no promises, no commitments. And that's what we're here to do this week. CamNav was built around the APIs of both Recreation.gov and Reserve America. Recreation.gov is the federal website to reserve sites and campgrounds from federal agencies like National Parks, National Forests, the BLM, the Bureau of Reclamation, U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, and more. Reserve America handles state park campsite bookings for 26 states, as well as many municipal and private campgrounds like KOA, Encore RV Resorts, and Thousand Trails. Now, the entire process of using CampNav begins with creating a new scan. So let's head on over to CampNav's website and demonstrate how the process works by creating a new scan. For this demonstration, we're going to scan for what seems like the impossible. Scoring a site in Grand Teton National Parks Coulter Bay RV campground over the July 4th holiday weekend. The process begins right here on CampNav's homepage with create a scan. So we're going to go down here and we're going to type in Grand Teton National Park. There it is. We'll click on that. And that opens up a list of the campgrounds that are available to be reserved. Notice you can also secure a backcountry permit this way, but we're selecting Coulter Bay RV Park. You were going to go for any site, but you can actually even narrow your search down to specific sites. Now scrolling down here, we can filter our scans and we're going to select an RV electric site. And we're going to put in the length of our RV. Continuing on, we pick our arrival date. We're going to get there Friday night of the July 4th weekend. So let's scroll over to July and select July 1st, that Friday night. But we're going to make a flexible arrival date. That increases our chances of finding a spot. So we're going to agree that, yeah, let's try to find something arriving even Wednesday or Thursday. And if we scroll down a little further, we'll set the number of nights. We'll set it for three or more nights. And we will add the scan to our plan. And that's it. If we go to our dashboard, we'll be able to see our scan in process. From here, you can actually edit your scan. You can pause your scan. You can delete it. You can copy it to, to, to a second scan and then modify the dates just to simplify the process. It's very, very simple. We used CampNav this past summer to search for sites in state parks in Montana, Idaho, Oregon, and Texas as well as at National Forest Campgrounds. Right here, 
is our search in the exceedingly popular Willowa Lake State Park in Joseph, Oregon. And here you see the results of that search in Willowa Lake. We had lots and lots of openings show up in our scan despite the fact that this state park is so incredibly popular and was booked solid. Look at all these cancellations that we were able to score for ourselves. Now we'd like to share a few tips gained from our experience using KimNab to help your success. For one thing, it helps to be flexible. That may mean changing your arrival window by a day or two here or there, or it also may mean me being willing to move campsites. Maybe you can get one day here, a couple of days there, so you may have to move during the course of your stay. Also, when you get that text alert, you need to jump on it immediately. Otherwise, somebody else is going to go into the website on their own discover that open campsite and book it before you can get there. Finally, we found that the greatest success is within two weeks of your arrival date. And when you think about it, that actually makes sense. When are people canceling their reservations? Right at the last minute. So generally speaking, we found the most success in finding an available campsite through Camp Nab within two weeks of our planned arrival date. So how much does it cost to use Camp Nab? The price is available on either a per scan model or you can buy a membership. The prices per scan range from $10 to $20, depending upon how often you want CampNab to scan that website and see if there are any available openings. The monthly memberships range from $10 per month to $50 per month. Again, depending on how often you want CampNab to scan the website for available openings, but also the number of concurrent scans that you can run. And you can run those for different sites, different campgrounds, what have you. The lowest tier plans uh, at $10 per month, they allow three concurrent scans. Whereas the higher tier plans allow up to 15 concurrent scans. You can also upgrade to an annual membership. And if you choose to enter and try CampNab on one of the lower tier plans, you can actually upgrade to one of the higher tier plans and CampNab will give you credit for that portion of the month that you've already used. Finally, there are a few things to note about using CampNab. For one thing, there are no guarantees. There is no promise that CampNab is going to get you an available campsite in an already sold out campground. That said, every single time that we tried CampNab in 2021, it found us an available campsite that met the criteria that we were looking for. Oftentimes it was at the very last minute, but it did find us an available campsite every single time we tried. As we've shown you in this video, the process is very simple to use, and we can tell you the process is effective. If you would like to try CampNab for yourself, we're going to put an affiliate link both here on the screen and down below in the video description. The one down below in the video description is clickable. So if you head on down there and click that, it will open in a new window and you'll be able to experience CampNab for yourself. We hope that, that's if, that this information has been useful to you. We found it incredibly useful for ourselves in 2021. So if you like this episode, please be sure to give us a big thumbs up down below. And while you're down below, we would love to hear from you in the comments section. We air new outdoor RV adventure travel videos each and every Wednesday. So if you're not yet a Grand Adventurer, go smash that little red subscribe button right down there in the lower right-hand corner of your screen. And ring that notification bell to be sure that you come along on each and every Grand Adventure. We'd be honored if you shared the channel with your friends, family, and on social media. So until next week, please remember, life is nothing but a Grand Adventure. We'll see you then.